There we go. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here today on Forza Horizon 4 staring at this Iron Knight semi. So, somebody challenged me the other day to build a Volvo drift car. Well, I decided to up it a little bit and try and build a Volvo drift semi. So we are going to take this, we're going to build it up and see if we can't get it on the toge, get it sideways and uh, have a little fun with it because uh, that big turbo motor back there is looking, uh, looking pretty saucy and looks like this thing's definitely going to be able to get sideways very well. So we're going to get it all uh, squared away here and see what we can do to it and see... Uh, kind of what we are looking at for in terms of uh, driftability. If we could add drift suspension, that'd be awesome. We are going to do rally suspension just because I feel like we'll be, be able to get a little more uh, steering angle out of it, even though we don't have drift suspension. So how much power does this thing have? That's what I want to know. Oh, wow. 2,400 horsepower uh, I feel like this is not gonna have any problems at all getting sideways we'll leave the 315s in the front 495s we can go up to a 515 that's that's insane and I just I don't even know how to put that into words I think we're going to ooh, we could throw some 1552s on it make it a uh, make it a little bit a uh, little bit different 23s, 24s. We'll leave it at 23s. So some 1552s on it, so it's not just a a normal uh, a normal semi. We can add some canards for down support, and we can add a giant wing for rear downforce. Oh boy! Uh, I think we're gonna go with auto wing for right now, and we're just gonna get this thing tuned up and see. Because it is rear wheel drive, we are gonna leave it rear wheel drive. So. We're just gonna tune the suspension and brakes and stuff like that and diff and see how this thing goes. And we're just gonna go see if we can't get it sideways. I know this is not exactly what this driver said by building a Volvo drift car, but you know what? It's a Volvo. So we're gonna we're gonna send it as much as we can and see how this thing handles. I'm not sure how the gearing's gonna go, so we're gonna have to leave that. It's rocking a lot of camber already. We're gonna throw throw a basic uh, a basic you know style suspension setup, and then we will go from there. Fine tune it as I feel, if we even fine tune it, and we're gonna drop this down a little bit, and we're gonna see how this goes. I'm not actually sure what to expect from this at all, so I'm. Slightly scared, but we're gonna find out and have fun with it. We're gonna turn our wheel cam out. We got the G920, 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel, hydraulic cam brake, sequential shifter, and uh, this may actually work. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work, but it may work. Oh man, that big truck life. Is that a boost gauge? That is a boost gauge. So we got that massive truck life going on right now. And I feel we're gonna be, it's got such shortcut gears. Oh, it's a big girl. This thing's a heavy, heavy girl. So we're definitely gonna have our work cut out for us with this. Master Toaster 85 up there, running the toge. Little does he know that there's a there's a semi about to uh, try and rip the toge with him. All or nothing, right? Ah, uh, other than the steering lock, I gotta feather it a little bit more because of the lack there of lock. But uh, slightly impressed with how this feels 
just wish we had a little more lock. So we're gonna have to uh, modulate our throttle and angle and probably go into a lower gear because we're doing a lot of left foot braking and pedaling, but second gear is too short. I don't think this truck was designed to do this, but you know what? Everybody's got the drift trucks out and the Huna trucks, and I'm over here like, that's cute. Try semi. <laughs> Probably not the best drifting you would see, but is it possible to drift a semi? Oh yeah. And it's a handful for sure. This is definitely not an easy task. Oh man, I just wish we had a little bit more steering lock. Because then this thing would probably be so much fun to drive. Get those turbos pooling. <laughs> he probably saw a giant semi coming and was like, wait, what's going on? So, can you drift a semi? Yes. Is it hard? Most definitely. But we managed to somewhat at your get a, uh, a slide in this thing. But right there is the problem of this thing. It's the steering lock, but of course it is a race semi, so it's really not designed to have a lot of lock. But we are definitely, uh, should probably downshift. We're definitely trying our best with this. We're gonna rip it downhill, of course. But, uh, kind of impressed with this in a sense. There we go. It's gotta be uh, a little bit easier on the throttle. And then we can get it, there we go. Oh man, this thing is such a big girl. But it's definitely outside my comfort zone, but I'm having a lot of fun with this. You want a challenge to drift something? Try to build a drift semi. Which, I know there is a drift semi in the world. There's a few videos of it. We need to get that in the game. I feel like we should have some drift semis to get some uh, proper semi tandems. Or at least the ability to throw maybe drift suspension on this Iron Knight. But uh, I don't know if the giant wing would help, but oh. See what Chunky's online. Oh, there we go. Nope, nope. Oh man. Thought I had it. But I kind of lost it towards the end. Got lost in the lack of angle. Set it out a little bit. go it's got to be nice and easy easy on the throttle but that's not easy on the throttle so is it possible to drift the semi oh yeah it is is it hard most well, definitely hard arrived at your destination but we're gonna definitely rip it up there one more time and maybe run the street section because I'm having absolute blast in this thing it may not look like much but we are definitely getting sideways in a semi and it's uh it's very interesting to see oh boy there we go so I'm sure I could tweak the tune some more and make this handle a little bit better 
which hold please let's see if we can't maybe get a little more steering angle out of this thing I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to but we can try we can try and add some more out toe see if we can't maybe possibly get a little bit more steering Ackerman out of this thing there we go that's a little bit better the hell did you break too long I got a little bit carried away with that e-brake so not the uh, biggest pro oh we got a, lim a drift limo going on oh don't fall off the hill we got two uh, not so normal drift things drifting off the toe gate right now we got a drift limo and trying a drift semi here and I don't think we can do much more than this because of limitations we have Semi's trying to get it though, or the limo. Oh, big frame rate latch. Game freeze. I think that happens a lot recently. I don't know if it's actually the server or if it's uh, my uh, my game itself. That was a major thing. Of course, we're gonna take out the guardrails all the way up. You have arrived <laughs> These guys are probably like, "What is going on?" So we're gonna try and run maybe this little street section to end this episode off on this semi. Too much, too much, excuse me. That car just got punted. So as you guys know, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. A lot of big things coming to the channel for 2019. I'm excited to make some announcements for 2019. What's coming to the channel, some new things some uh, new opportunities and stuff like that that have uh, recently come about which I will be bringing you guys all that information here very very shortly so if you guys are excited for 2019 I'm excited for 2019 2019 is going to be a big year here on the channel and a big year for myself so I'm very excited to bring it all to you guys as well as Excited to have it. So make sure you guys stay posted to my Instagram and my Twitter for all the information as it comes out. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I hope you guys are having a very good Christmas Eve today, with Christmas being tomorrow. It is a very, very awesome time of the year. Holiday season, family, friends, everything like that. And of course, well, gifts. But it's all about family and friends and it's occasionally nice for the gifts too <laughs> so i hope you guys are having a good holiday season if you guys are not celebrating it um i hope you guys are having a good monday because i don't want to be uh that guy that says hope you're having a good holiday and you don't celebrate it so if you do not celebrate it, hope you're having a good monday and i hope you enjoyed this little video Whoa. with the volvo drift semi definitely gonna probably try and work some tweaks on this and maybe uh Get some Volvo semi tandems. That section was nice. Woo. So, until next time, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. Oh, I want some.